for all you college couples out there that want to make a romantic meal that's cheaper than going out to Fireside and anyway this is a delicious meal that's super affordable and super easy and fun for two people to make together so my two guests today are two of my dear friends this is Brandon Allen and Jenna Donnerberg Jenna and I have actually been BFF since about fourth grade we reign from Sheeny Washington and I keep a postcard up here to remind me uh, somebody actually made this postcard because the cool things in Cheney are wheat fields, Eastern Washington University, First Street in Cheney that has um, Zips and Willow Springs Motel, very important, and portly people at Fish Lake, so where you can get swimmer's itch. It's very important, obviously, this postcard needed to be made. I know you guys are all running for Cheney now, so I'm just going to pop that back up there and get started. So. First thing that we're gonna do is the salmon because it takes the longest. Salmon is Yummy. typically, yeah, you guys are salmon fans. Yeah, yes. Love yeah. it. Okay. Salmon's, you guys consider that pretty romantic, right? Yeah. Fine Fairly, dining, yeah. fish. Yeah. Okay, well, here's the thing. You can go to a restaurant and get salmon for like $18. Is that usually how much you guys see it for? Yeah. Nice. Right. But, okay. I, I never yeah. get it. Okay. So. <laughs> well, here's what you can do go on over to Safeway in Coleman. $5.69 with your Safeway card. And you know I'm a member. Oh, I hit that up every week. Everyone's a member. Oh, everyone. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You can get it for like less than a third of what you're paying in the restaurant. And not to toot my own horn, but make my salmon's better. So Wait, anyway, yeah. we're going to walk away with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so to start things off, actually, let me explain a little more. I've done aluminum foil on this pan, which is, I think, the best thing you could ever do when you're making salmon, just to drop some aluminum foil first. Because when you cook salmon, the oil kind of like burns, and this is just easy cleanup. You just awesome. mm -hmm. pick it up, toss it like away, that. it's great. And I rinse the salmon off first. You never know, those, those seafood butchers, <laughs> they're kind of surly characters. You never know what's going on there. So I always just rinse it off with some cold water and put it in, and then obviously wash my hands again. You don't want the raw meaties going on. So, first thing we're gonna do, and Brandon, you doing this? Olive oil? Uh, okay, I'll do it. No. No. Okay. We want Jenna to do Jenna. olive oil. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Extra virgin olive oil. I used this last episode with the pizza. I think this is a staple for apartments. You guys both live in apartments. Yep. Yeah. I, I have that. Yes. Thank you. There we go. I use this at least once a day. Like this is just, it's gold. It's mandatory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop. Jenna's gonna actually do like about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil over the top of the salmon. Mm -hmm. It's gonna let it um, kind of marinate a little bit and give it a nice glaze. Yeah, perfect. And just use the back of the spoon and kind of sweep over it, spread it out. Perfect. Good. Now where did, yeah. Where did that cheese pie go? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Hide it. Okay. Now, for most of you guys who don't have the spinach ravioli packs from Costco, which is the vast <laughs> majority, I snagged <laughs> this. From here, let me, let me grab it. This is the ravioli pack. Most of you guys don't have this, but this packet comes in there, and this is like money. They sell this on the streets. This is legit, <laughs> okay? It's Parmesan, Parmesan, sorry, garlic, um, like rosemary, herbs, parsley. So it's kind of like ready to go in one packet, but for those of you who do not have this ravioli pack, if you're not, all you need is basic Parmesan. Um, you can do herbs. You guys like garlic? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, garlic people. Everyone okay, garlic. I know everybody. Parsley, whatever you want. Just if you want to go basic, just do Parmesan for the first time. But we're gonna do this. Brandon's gonna. Oh, you're he's gonna it. get saucy with it. Just, All right, how just, much? Just, just like a liberal amount, so it's kind of covering everything. Yeah. Is that good? Oh, Panda? keep going. Keep going. Well, All I don't right. know about you guys, but I like my my cheese packs. <laughs> so that's beautiful. I think it's probably good. Yeah. Okay. And then you can just yeah take the spread spoon, it. spread it out a little more. Perfect. God, it's good. It smells good, it huh? Looks good, yeah. yeah. Smell like mm -mm. Okay. And then now for we got to integrate some couples moments here. So I'm gonna have uh, Donnerberg <laughs> with the pepper, yes. Brandon with the salt, and just right. I mean, you guys salt and pepper your food. You know what's about right. Oh, look at That's that. Really good. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. So we're just gonna drop the the salmon spoon in the sink and pop this in the oven. I've had this preheated for a while now. I'm at 425. You guys can probably go about 400, depending on your oven. Middle rack, because you don't want the top yeah. to get too burnt. And probably 15 to 20 minutes. I'll check it at 15. There's nothing worse than super dry salmon. But 
if you go anything under than that, you might get raw salmon, which is not good, but I'll show you guys when it's done. We can cut it open and see what it looks like. So while that's cooking, we're going to do couscous. Rice so nice, they named it twice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the Near East brand from Safeway. I think it was on sale for a dollar. Super, super cheap. And when I make it just for myself, I have last <laughs> leftovers that last for probably four days. I usually had to throw them out. This stuff lasts forever. Um, roasted garlic and olive oil. There's like 20 different flavors. It's amazing. So all we have done is put a cup and a quarter of water in here. Then again with the olive oil. Yes. The olive oil coming in the clutch. <laughs> so Brandon, Brandon you have to do it this time. Brandon's all doing right. olive oil this time. Oil guy. We're going to do two teaspoons of olive oil mm, in there. It smells good. I know it's going to be delish. So he's just doing two teaspoons, dropping that in, and again, this is a little redundant because the directions are on the box, but, you know, <laughs> we're going to hold hands and walk through it. And then from there, it comes with a spice pack, just kind of like the Parmesan pack, actually, without the Parmesan. And, John Rig, you want to yeah. drop that in? All of it? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we're going to use the same spoon that we used with the olive oil and just kind of mix it up a little bit. Delish. This stuff is so easy. I love it. Okay. That was really easy. I know. Yeah. And all you do, cover it, bring it to, which one do I want on that one? Yep. Bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, you remove it from the heat. It's almost like cooking backwards, I think. Okay. Kind of throws me off a little bit, but take it off the heat and you pour couscous. <laughs> Just dump it right in, take it off the heat and let it sit. You cover it for five minutes. That's all you do. That's nice. And in five minutes, it will I can do that. have cooked and risen and you fluff it and it's one. delish. Mm -hmm. So, from there, look at this. This is super easy. We're halfway through. We're halfway done. Awesome. Look, see? You I'm guys do this all the time. Yep. This okay. is good. Now on to our veggie, because typically, you know, romantic meal, vegetable. All right. You know? Yeah. You guys cool with broccoli? I love broccoli. I love okay. it. Yeah. For people that aren't into broccoli, I know broccoli can be kind of like one of those. It's a hit or miss. Uh, hit or miss. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, you can also do green beans, asparagus. I think typically those are the kind of, yeah. you know, you don't want to give somebody raw veggies if you're cooking dinner. Like, don't throw, mm. don't do that. Mm. Don't get like Big the mistake. cheap, like, yeah. veggie medley bag. Let's just not go there. The lima beans? <laughs> no. <laughs> lima beans are a no. <laughs> Okay, so all I've done, washed some broccoli at the store, ripped it apart. If you guys are, you know, lazy, just buy the pre-washed and ripped, yeah. whatever. Mm. Um, I threw probably three tablespoons of water at the bottom of this and covered it with saran wrap. The reason why you do the water at the bottom is because it's going to steam it when you microwave it. And if you don't do water, it's going to get kind of dry and brown and gross. So we're going to pop this in the microwave. For our salmon, we've got... Three minutes left on it. It smells oh, amazing. It smells hot here. It's also an yeah. inferno because we have like five million heat <laughs> appliances on, so we're all a little sweaty. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, we're gonna let that continue to cook, and in the meantime, we're gonna kick it to Abby and Evan for Food Smarts. So mm -hmm. take it away, guys.